about 25 years ago, oh, well, maybe 30 years ago, but <laughs> years go fast, I got into the habit of writing short stories. None I ever finished. But there's one story that um, I want to talk about, you know, I'm not bothered by anyone copying it. I mean, it's been copied before anyway as well. The story I had 30 years ago has been someone else done it into a film, something to be different, so I'll go into that in a minute. But if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe, hit that like, and the more likes I get, the more happy happy, <laughs> the more positive I get. And then just tap my notification bell. But this, the story I wrote was, it's a bit like, Cabin fever, or cabin in the woods, what it's called. I forgot what it's called now. Um, the one where they're in the cabin and they've got the experiments and stuff, you know, that underground thing. What it was, my book was based, the story, my story was based in Scotland, right in the remote highlands, and there's this mansion, and it's been like the Big Brother. That is 12 people who got chose to be in the house, and they thought they were being filmed every day, like just like Big Brother, you know, we got to know them. But underneath the building was a military base, and these 12 people were guinea pigs, experiments. But their... It was not broadcast on TV, they thought they were being broadcast like Big Brother, but it wasn't. It was being broadcasted to the underground military base. So there they are, trying to fight, trying to live their lives, trying to be famous, um, do all these silly things, and one by one they face their fears, they have to face their fears. Uh, I got quite far into it but I just didn't finish it, I got to the, the final, the four who lived, and I didn't carry on with it. <laughs> but yeah, they all died off, but it was done in a way where they all died off, but the contestants thought that they'd been evicted, but they weren't. They were being not murdered or you know experimented on, kind of thing, you know. But through the tricks and stuff they were doing, like the the problem solving they were doing on the their, what they thought was a show, was military experiments kind of stuff. Yeah, it was all weird, or went into depth, but I never finished it. I wish I did, but I didn't. But then you had that cabin in the woods, what you call it. That came out a few years ago, and I was like, well, that's been what, what I wrote, actually, but that was more fun than <laughs> the film. But yeah, I, I did, I, I went through a mad phase of having all these crazy ideas for writing short stories, but my grandma wasn't exactly brilliant. I used to have a bit, used to be a software um, trying to help me along, you know, novelist, I think it was called, one of the two, one or something like that. But um, it was, it was mad, it was, um, I think with me, the reason why I didn't finish it because I got so wrapped up with the characters that I forgot who was who after a while. I thought, I oh, know, <laughs> I didn't have it planned properly, kind of, you know, planned properly. But you never know, one day I might start again and do it, you know. But I don't think I've got it in me now. I don't think I've got that great. My creativity has moved on to something completely different. Um, this video editing and stuff like that, YouTube, and it's you know, that's, that's more important to me now than anything else created. So, yeah, that's a little bit more about me than you I didn't know. And no, I didn't have a title for the book, um, I just wrote it without the title. I just, you know, I just created it a, a random title just to just whilst I was writing it. Well, it seems 30 years ago, but I'm an egg. Seems like yesterday. Anyway, there you go. So, subscribe, like, comment. If you want to know more about the story, just comment. If you think I should carry on with it, we'll start again. Oh, I can't carry on with it, I've lost all, I lost all the story. No, I lost it all. I mean, it's all in the past. You know, I've moved, I moved a few times since then. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there was no cloud storage at the end of them days. If I did it now, then at least I could still want a cloud. So yeah, there you go. Two little pips. Take it easy. Catch you on the next vlog.